the Treasure Coast. If you've ever been, it's one of the most historically rich places in Florida. Home to the incredibly biodiverse Indian River Lagoon, with a whopping 3,500 different species living there. It has many stories to explore, but this, this is just one of them. Welcome to Tales of the Treasure Coast. Don Pedro Gilbert was born around 1800, and his early life is fairly brief. He became a sailor quite fast, and by 1830 became a captain. He was involved in smuggling liquor, cigars, and tobacco from the Caribbean to the United States, and also, most notably, piracy. One of his most notable instances was in 1832, when his ship, a stolen spooner named Panda, was in pursuit of the American brigantine ship called the Mexican. Gilbert and his crew fired upon the American ship and quickly took command of it. Gilbert then took the loot, an estimated $20,000 in silver, and tied up the crew of the Mexican while lighting the ship on fire, leaving the crew to die in flames. Miraculously, some crewmen loosened themselves, freed the others, extinguished the fire, and were on their way to report the crime to Salem. Two years later, the British Royal Navy captured Gilbert along with 12 other crewmen, and on November 25th, 1834, Gilbert and six other crew members were found guilty during trial, while the remaining five were found innocent. Gilbert, along with four other crew members, were hanged in Boston on June 11, 1835. The remaining guilty members were either sent to jail or to the gallows. Today, Gilbert's Bar House of Refugee, named after the pirate, stands as a museum and remains the oldest building in Barton County. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, check out the video on the top about Jonathan Dickinson and his shipwreck off the coast of Florida. Or check out the bottom video about the 1715 Spanish fleet in which all ships were destroyed. All but one.